new meatloaf. Everybody None. knows that. Except here today on Cooking Cheap, we've got not one but two. Two. Two loaves and what? No, no. Mr. Johnson, I oh, no. bogged my hand up real bad. That and shark finally got you. <laughs> <laughs> they always leave these microphone uh -huh. cases here, isn't yeah, this? Yeah, I got a one, too. Real class uh, operation. I mean, we, could, we could do, this is like Kukla, <laughs> Fran, and Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, oh, what taco, a taco salad. Taco salad. Uh, meatloaf. Taco you, salad meatloaf. Did you get it from the ta Taco Bell? Sent in by the very lovely and semi voluptuous Debbie Lynn Newell of Williamsfield, Il Illinois. Debbie Lynn Newell. Mm -hmm. That's true. Well, I got one from, uh, let's see, who is it? John, oh, I should have read this one in advance, to Manello of Hillsville, Virginia. Is that right? To, to Manello. Manello. No. <laughs> right. okay. To Manello of. Where is that? Hillsville, Virginia. That's not too far away from here as the crow flies. Is that so real? Before we get started, we yeah. have today, Mr. Johnson, an audience, which is right unusual for us. They normally can't pay people to come down here and watch us. But these people have volunteered. Troop 12 of the Girl Scouts, let's hear it. Oh, let's hear it for the Girl Scouts. Yeah. Now, and been now, here five minutes. They haven't thrown the first tomato. I right. think it's great. No, what? but they threw several cookies. <laughs> <laughs> no, this uh, is this the group we buy the cookies from every year? Who do we buy we, the cookies no. from? No, I've this bought from so many groups. Carol's group. Well, I've bought from so many groups yes. this year. It's oh, difficult. well, so, I'm so glad. I have these very attractive duck beaks. <laughs> <laughs> Now, these, of course, are taco shells for those of you who are in the know in Mexican right. cuisine. Now, the what, know in Mexico. What I, what I have found that it's real good to do is take these. You need about eight to ten of them, and you take them and put them in your oven right now before you start this so they get nice and crispy, crisp which is what them. you're supposed to do anyway when fix and, tacos at home. And in the meanwhile, I will place into a bowl one pound exactly of very lean hamburger, which will be cooked all the way through, of course, to the proper temperature. Well, of course, so we don't want to catch any kind of no, diseases. We, we don't want to have anybody getting nervous and everything. Croak. So uh, this will be cooked uh, appropriately. And I'm going to add a whole bunch of other stuff to this as we go along. Can so we get a startling shot of the taco oh. shells in the oven, ladies and gentlemen? Well, it looks like Donald Duck and his nephews. That's what they actually <laughs> look like in the oven. So I just wanted you to know, for those and of you who have never seen a taco right. shell in an oven before. And don't let your duck loaf in there. <laughs> All right. I'm going to Can't throw it that. into mine. Anyway. Well, I mean, you know, so. <laughs> I have one ahead, cup Judge. of soft bread crumbs that I actually made this afternoon at my abode, my home. What do you mean you made them? I made them in the food processor. Oh, These you? are, you know, the kind you buy in the store are dried bread crumbs. Uh -huh. These bread crumbs are made from from day old bread through the food processor, and it feels real good on your hands. <laughs> and for it all looks real good of on your you hands. cleanliness fanatics. <laughs> Turn us out right now. Oh, no, why? Turn over and watch uh, those uh, two guys on the furniture refinishing shows. Do not watch <laughs> us right now. Why? Because I am going to lay hands on this meatloaf today. Oh, okay. I'm going to put my hands in it all the way up to the knuckles. Well, I've seen him do worse. Go ahead. I'm not going to do it right this time. Oh, well, you got us all excited right. for but nothing. I, you know, you have to let everybody know, because all of you food fanatics, you can start getting ready to write the letters in. Don't use hands. Don't use your hands. Can I start my resume? Yeah, go ahead. Pound of hamburger goes in there. Okay, baby. <laughs> all right, well, the next thing I'm going to I didn't want them to miss it. I've got applesauce. This is a Virginia product, incidentally, White House applesauce. Are you getting some kind of pay uh, back no. on that? Some no, but the governor promised he'd give me an extra month to pay my taxes You're not this making year. more money than I am on this show, are you? No. no I hope not. No, I don't okay. think so. Well, anyway, good. you start out with a half a cup of, of applesauce. Tommy Wood <laughs> says five bucks is still five bucks. Yeah. How does he know we got a race? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. We um, used to pay them five bucks to come down here. Now, what is that? A half a cup of oh, apple sauce. You just throw it all over everything. Well, I can't help oh, you. got it, some of that child's eye over there. Well, I might put it out. Terrible time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. I'm going to clean up a little bit. All right. The next thing I'm going to put in is a beaten egg. So, Larry, you can do something while I'm beating this egg into submission. Oh, okay. Kids are sitting out there going, what is it? 
<laughs> they thought this was a cartoon show. Okay. Well, it kind of is. About a pound of hamburger beef. Get some good quality stuff, okay? So it doesn't, it's nothing worse than making making meatloaf with real cheap grade of beef, and, and then you get about uh, about it's two inches grease. of grease off top of it. You don't you want that. About, get some good stuff. Yeah, 85%. 15% fat is, is, would be about right. What he said. And then the next thing you do is you throw in some taco seasoning mix. A whole one of those goes in there. And I will tell you, the only thing that I didn't like about this is I think it's just a tiny little bit salty. And it's because of this taco seasoning mix. You will want some water standing by. Not because it's hot, just because you'll just feel like you need water after you've had couple of pounds of this stuff. You mean it's going to affect my blood pressure? Uh-huh. We have oh. a doctor standing by. I should have. <laughs> and there's that. That's about as exciting as that gets. Well, I'm adding a beaten egg. And you need to beat it in advance. Don't do it. Just don't just dump it down in there. Beat it in advance. So there is that. <laughs> Now, this thing calls for two tablespoons of onion flakes, Ooh. and therein hangs the tail. Ooh. I think, well, I have seen flaked onions. Sounds a little heavy-handed to me. I have seen these bad boys in actual flakes, but I couldn't find them anywhere in this city. Well, I have some. So, so flakes? Me. Yeah, so flakes. I, but I decided it's about the same thing as these little minced onions, so it calls for two tablespoons. That's too many, I think, so I'm going to put the remnants, which is about a tablespoon. That was about six tablespoons, I believe. And i got to have a teaspoon of <sighs> celery salt. Celery salt. That's about a teaspoon of celery salt. That was about three. And a teaspoon. No, it wasn't. Listen, Bozo, if you think you can do it better than I can. <laughs> Why don't you let him go back and run the camera? I'd, I'd be glad to. Get over there. Get over here and start cooking. Talk about blood pressure. Looks like mine's gone way up today by the color on that no, monitor. I think it's today. a bad monitor again. Yeah. Doris, would you go over and hit that? Hit it. Oh. No, it didn't help. No, Larry still Although looks it bad. Did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It helped my hair a little bit, I believe. I'm going to put a teaspoon of Dijon mustard down in here, too. Now, that's all for me for a little bit. Okay, well... You, you mix all this stuff up at the same time. First thing you have to do is get some cheddar cheese. You see, someone has been gnawing on my cheddar cheese already. Someone's gnawing on my cheese. Someone, here, you want a knife? Here's a big knife. All I was going to do is cut my portion. Cut your portion off. Thank you. <laughs> well, I have to have it. I'm sorry. I don't think it's good for you to be eating all it this isn't. cheese. I believe it raises your cholesterol level. And my doctor, Dr. Jake Needhawk, would die if he knew I was eating this. Oh, he's he watching. I invited him to watch. Oh, no. Don't Good. tell the doctor. This is real interesting. Mm, mm, mm. Taco sauce. I got hot taco sauce. Did you try this recipe, Doris? Did you say you tried this recipe? Doris looked like a walking Picasso today. Have you noticed that? Mm -hmm. She um, looks great. Did you use hot sauce or regular sauce? She doesn't remember. Put that in there. That's a half a jar of this stuff. It calls for four ounces, but I could only find an eight-ounce jar. Uh, here we go again with mm -hmm. this stuff, you know? So anyway, that's half of that. That's four ounces of hot taco sauce. And then an egg. Put an egg in there also. Put an egg in it. <laughs> and I, everybody was amazed I got one of these little partial egg things. You know, you can't get, get just one stick of butter anymore. They get huffy about that. You have to buy the whole thing now. You used to go into a store and get one stick of butter out of the thing. And now they say they won't allow you to do that. But you can still get a half of one of these if you don't need a whole. Because they go bad if I don't buy them like that. Yeah, and it's true. One more thing. Nice thing. Oh, yeah, cheese, which is what I'm eating right now. We need to grate some of that and about a cup of grated cheddar cheese. This is a wonderful, wonderful mm, meatloaf. And then a couple of minutes, we're going to mix it all up. So until I get finished with this, just okay. that's well, it. Well, it's my turn to do it. Do it to it, baby. All right. So now the trick is, now I learned this technique from my dear friend, Lena Mae Preston. Oh, and for Lena heaven's May, sake, if you're just watching, stick your hands in it and get it over. She's with. the one that taught me how to do this. Now, the trick is you always, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to use my right hand and my fingertips. But you always use your left hand over here like this. 
so that it's when the person calls you on the phone, because all you got to do is put your hand down in here. <laughs> The phone will ring. Well, I hope you don't get confused. That's all I can say. <laughs> so, anyway, here we go. Well, and perhaps if we had a phone here on the set, we could try that. Uh-huh. Oh, I almost forgot the taco shells. Oh, heavens. Oh, Good gracious, they weren't supposed to be in there that long while well, they're getting brown. I need a thing. Thank oh, you. you burned your shells. No, I didn't burn my <laughs> shells, but I shouldn't have left them in I there. I knew he long. was going to do it. I almost forgot them. Come out of there. Look at that. They got brown. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to leave them in but a minute or two. Well, you know, cooking in your kitchen at home and cooking in a TV station is two separate things. Oh, we're missing Johnson's uh, laying on of the hands here. Ooh. And just gently, you don't want to go like No, that. as a matter of no, fact, I read somewhere that if you squish it too much, you get all the air out it, of it, it and it tough. gets real tough. That's right. See, you so, learn something every day on this show. So you need to, to, to be gentle with it. Caress it. Oh, for heaven's sake. Massage oh, it gently. Oh, goodness sake. Anyway, and you have to keep doing this for several minutes until you get your ingredients mixed in with your meat. These things are so hot I can't do anything with them yet. I gotta wait for my I gotta wait for these taco shells right. to cool. Now black I'm going to put this Oh <laughs> well I mean that's the way to do it. You just pick it up and it should be adhering very well. And now you're gonna spread it into a I'm gonna put this right over here but I'll come back to it. You're going to spread this into a loaf and I'm gonna do this one kinda as an oval and then here is the unique thing about this applesauce meatloaf, this Macintosh meatloaf, which I thought for a little while was a word processing kind. But uh, what you have to do is you make a big indentation right here in the middle of it with your hand. What are you going to put in there, Laban? Another mixture hmm. of applesauce and some good stuff that I've got to make here in a minute. But you want to make your you a pretty good little sized boat here in this bad boy and then I guess I'll just have to go ahead and use both hands ring <sighs> and then you just keep patting it down here well what's wrong don't you all like art I hear him out there whist whistling oh, art's a fine fella used to work here well, let me yeah, know when you finish a lot of that. people I wouldn't do. want to interrupt right. this delicate operation <laughs> well I just want to Push this Let down. me have another piece of cheese while I'm waiting. Oh, I'll have one, too. Oh, for heaven's sake. All right. Where's the knife? Yeah, you, you, this has to be a fair, because this is a lot of stuff that you have to put in. Now, there it is. What a rude crew we have this year. They whistle. I know. They, other things. Here. Oh, thanks. Have another piece man. of cheese. Now, is that it? Can uh -huh. I do something? Please. All right. It's time now, ladies and gentlemen, for the crushing... Oh! of the shells and make sure you do a pretty good job thank you thank you thank you all uh, <laughs> the kids are still going huh what's going on uh, see they get real crumbly when you pull see, them see their mamas like are no fools their mamas will not allow them in the kitchen to do stuff like this well that's true I wish my mom had had such foresight but then I guess, I guess I would. <laughs> it's a mean crowd. Yo, mama. A mean crowd. Make sure you crumble them up real good. I just love taco shells. Jim, I'm going to let you take these three home to your family. <laughs> now, you get to mix all this stuff up. The hamburger and the egg and the sauce and the taco stuff, what's that called, seasoning mix, and so on. So I could have used a little bit bigger bowl, but that's all right. We'll do okay. And we just mix for a while on this thing, because I think that I need to get in there with my fingers. I hate to do it, but I will. It's the most expeditious way oh, of getting this at done. It. Bring that thing's neck. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't have the same touch that Mr. Johnson does well, with it. May Preston touch. But uh, to be quite honest with you, this is as much touching as I would like to do. So anyway, make sure you get that mixed through there. Now you will set your oven at 350 degrees. Now, having done that, oh, how indelicate. Oh, no. 
Make sure your bowls are a little closer together than that because you'll have it all over everything. And you will mold that into your little dish. It doesn't have to be greased or anything. Goodness knows it doesn't have to be greased. Put it 350 degrees for 45 minutes. And when it comes out, it will look exactly as beautiful as mine that I'm going to take out of the oven that I prepared yesterday. And there it is. Wonderful. And that's real nice. And then you go wash your hands. <laughs> or you shake hands with someone you don't like very much. Stay Let's, away uh, from me. Oh, you could do your... Yes. Fine. Now, the sauce. This is a little sauce that you add in the beginning, not at the end. So another half cup. And remember, always to wash your hands after you take care of food. All right, another half cup of, of sauce of the fine young apples. And now we're going to have a tablespoonful of brown sugar. Now, this brown sugar is hard as a brick. <laughs> Put it in the microwave. Well, let's see if it Well, goes. you better be careful. Sometimes those bags... Well, I know. We'll just do Sometimes it real easy. those bags right? aren't really good for the microwave. You know how we used to do it. We used to just beat the stuffings out of it. But people have gotten so huffy about violence on TV. Well, good heavens, Laban, are you... A, a, I well, think I, it, I just put it on put his charge card number in there. I'm I was sure. afraid to put it on high because it might caramelize the entire thing. So I put it on defrost. Put it on defrost before you... No. Yeah, let's look at the Cook Sisters yeah. while you're waiting for that stuff right. to soften up. We got the Cook Sisters are coming by oh, today good. down that long road to give us some back porch. You know, we got company and Tommy's um, doing it right. Fun philosophy. That's right. Say toots. Uh, what? Toots. Toots. You said say toots. Oh, toots. toots. <laughs> ah. You should always wash your hands, not to mention her mouth thoroughly with hot soapy water before and after handling foods, especially raw meat and fish. Sometimes I do that when I've been around you, sis. Yeah. Oh, no, you don't, nobody want to get salmonella. 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 Well, whatever it is. We don't want it. I'm Sister Cook. You don't want it. I'm Tootsie Cook, and, and we're, we're the, the Cook, Cook Sisters. sisters. That was great to got the sound out here about six seconds before we... I don't well, know what they had to say, but it looked like it was interesting. It worked fairly well. Yes, I got but... enough to get a tablespoon of Oh, did you really? Sugar softened out. it up a little bit? A little bit. And now I've got to have a tablespoon of cider vinegar, and all I had left was in Grandma's cruet. So. Was in what? My grandmother's cruet. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I uh, <laughs> don't know what he said. Oh. I'm going to show you. All right, Mom's and group. another teaspoon of Dijon. There is something about this mixture that just does not look appealing at and all. And there is now a tablespoon, no, a teaspoon of horseradish. And this is kosher hot horseradish. Woo-wee, yes, indeed, fresh horses. Yes, indeedy. So now I'm going to mix all of this up real good. Mm. Mm, 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 it's hard mm. to imagine how good this is going to be. It smells wonderful. You know, anything with horseradish in it. Oh, yeah, I good. agree. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. And you mix it up real, real, real good. And now you're just going to dump it right down here into your little dish. Oh, that's, uh, mm. And get it. Oh, it's so good, you don't want to leave any in the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Now there it is, all done up real pretty. And then you put it in a 350 degree oven, just like Larry's. Every meatloaf in the world cooks 350, 350 degrees. degrees. That's the law. It's required by law. And that's it. Let's look at the recipe. Yeah, let's do that. Right now. There they are. Well, that's a cup of, of uh, soft bread crumbs, a half a cup of applesauce, a pound of lean hamburger, an egg beaten, two tablespoons of onion flakes, a teaspoon of celery salt, and a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Then your little sauce that you use has a half a cup of applesauce. 
Huh? It says Dijon mustard. Dijon. Oh, Dijon. Dijon. Uh, a tablespoon of brown sugar, a tablespoon of cider vinegar, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and a teaspoon of horseradish. Ah, horseradish. And the taco meatloaf sent in by the very lovely Debbie Lynn Newell of Williamsfield, Illinois. The si S is silent, boys and girls. A pound of hamburger, one and a quarter ounces package of taco seasoning mix, four ounce can of taco sauce you probably can't find at eight ounces what you have to buy and make two of them. <laughs> An egg, I see it. Six to eight taco shells crushed, <laughs> a cup of grated cheese, cheddar cheese. <laughs> Swear, it's either no cues or they got their fingers in your face out here. I well, mean, see, what's, wait, 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 let's, let's see what's here today. I think somebody's in here. Wait a minute. What is it? <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, it's an outdoor scene. Look oh. at that. It's amazing. I didn't realize we had that mountain I so was nearby. A beach whale there That's for amazing. Look oh, at that. It's real lovely. I didn't realize we had such a view in our <laughs> window. Did you? Well, shut it up. I'm sick of it. Uh, kitchen Witch. Wait, wait. Is, uh, do you hear? <laughs> Momentarily. Oh. Oh. You read it today. Okay. Come here, witchy. She's out of here. <laughs> Dear, hey, gents, what's new with foods from foreign fields? I think that's what we're looking uh -huh. at. I just love bananas. Got my banana recipe. Got any re banana recipe? Person does not write well at all. I should tell you, new ones. See more bromate. On your knees, Alabama. Yes, indeed. And so next week, I'm going to be doing nanner and chicken. What am I doing next Banana week? chicken. What You're doing some other kind of Mexicali recipe Let next week. Let me see what, uh, what I'm doing next week. I, did, I haven't had time to look. Hawaiian delight. No, no, that, uh, this is the one you're doing. Oh, <laughs> Italian Greek pasta. Wow. Well. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I'm sure it'll be delicious. Oh, of course it will be. How do you turn this off? I don't know. And we'll be doing those at that show next week. We'll have a huge audience next week for that. Well, I hope you're right. Can you get that? Uh, yes, oh, that looks real pretty. Well, let's go over to the table where we can eat, drink, and be terribly merry. I want that to be off because I know the people down here don't know how to cut a stove off. It'll be on for another week or two. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh-huh. <sighs> Here we are in our palatial lovely dining, dining room. <laughs> I'm just going to spoon this out. If uh, this one has a perfectly lovely little thing in there in the middle where the sauce is. Can you all smell this taco? Uh, doesn't it smell good? Yeah. Let They're all. A little of this sauce. A little sauce on it. All right. Very good. Yes, sir, this meatloaf makes you want to run for the border. Oh, oh and Doris has brought us some... Uh... What is this, Doris? What is Doris is not paying any attention. She's watching another TV show. Yeah. Now, what is it? Salsa. A little homemade salsa. Mm. Well, I'll put some over here on the side. Woo! Woo what? Woo what? What do you want me to try? That one of the applesauce has got a definite twang to it. <laughs> Woo, that horseradish just opened everything up from here on up. From here to But it is real that. good. Well, let me try some of this homemade salsa that she made. Oh, come on in here. Let's see what oh, else no, thinks Oh, no, we're being attacked by Girl Scouts. Heavens, Girl Scouts are all over the place. It's amazing. Well, come on, stick your stuff. In. Go ahead. You can just stick in there and get some out. Go ahead. You can do it. Well, it's a lot of fun, and we want to thank you for coming by. Yeah. Bye. We're glad you were here. What is this?